Hello, this is Mindy from the Weekend Garden, and today I'm going to show you how to plant your seed tape that you have made in a previous video. You can plant, obviously, in an empty container. Make sure the container has been thoroughly washed and dried. Well, they'll need to put some type of drainage material, a, a, a paper coffee filter is a good example, or you can use a piece of a broken pot and cover each one of the drainage holes. Once that is done, you will need to fill the container with soil up to the rim. So in this example, I'm going to use this big colander shaped container. And as you can see, we do already have some soil in here. I'm going to finish filling the container with soil up to that rim level. This allows enough room when you're watering that the water will not carry the soil over the rim of the pot. Also, it allows plenty of room for your plants to grow up and over if you have some type of trailing plant material. A good all-purpose potting soil is all that is really needed for this project. And since you're utilizing seeds, do not apply a fertilizer when you plant your seed tape, only apply it once the seedlings have started to grow. If you made your seed tape out of the newspaper, you simply unroll the seed tape. Now you need to pay attention and read the ends of your seed tape. In this example, this is marigolds, that's what I have written, so that you know exactly what you're planting. You can design a designer shaped container by planting uh, different height plants that were created from uh, different seed tapes. You can tear the seed tape. It's very easy. You can tear it and put it any, in any type of design that you would like, such as this. You can arrange it. It doesn't have to be used in one single strip. And then you would simply, in this example, just sprinkle a little bit of soil on top. Marigold seeds are planted very shallow and this soil will actually just hold down the paper and hold down the seeds and keep birds and the wind from blowing away your seeds. If you happen to do the toilet paper method, you have to be very careful uh, because the toilet paper is very tender and it will tear if you unroll it too uh, quickly or tug at it. And the process is the same. You lay it on top of the soil and you just put a very thin layer potting soil mixture on the top to hold the seeds. Once you have your design and you have your container full of your seed tape, you simply take water and water the seed tape in. You need to keep uh, the soil evenly moist until you start seeing the seedlings and then check periodically prevent the soil from drying out, especially in the early growing stages, because the seedlings will die if they do get too dry. Once the seedlings have appeared, start with a diluted amount of all-purpose fertilizer, and then when the plants become uh, mature size, move up to full-strength fertilizer. Until we meet into the garden again, this has been Mindy from the Weekend Garden.